So today's topic is serotonin syndrome, and serotonin syndrome is commonly seen with antidepressants. In this video, I'll go over drug combinations that cause serotonin syndrome, the symptoms of serotonin syndrome, and the treatment, and how we can go about it. So let's get started. What are the drug combinations that causes serotonin syndrome? So the drug combinations that cause serotonin syndrome are your SSRIs and MAOIs. When these two categories of medications are combined together, there's going to be an increase of serotonin, which puts the patient at risk for serotonin syndrome, okay? So also, what's another reason that you might see a serotonin syndrome in a patient? Sometimes when you place a patient on more than one SSRI, it's going to cause serotonin syndrome. There's also drug and herbal interactions. So when you think of herbal interactions, think of your kava kava, think of St. John's wort. These are the drugs that's going to cause an increase of serotonin and put the patient at risk for serotonin syndrome. No, this, okay, this is very important. When you're switching a patient from SSRI to MAOIs, wait two weeks. That's very important. Wait two weeks or 14 days before switching between these categories of medications. So when switching between Prozac, which is an SSRI, to MAOI, you want to know that you have to wait five to six weeks because Prozac stays in the system for a longer period, okay? So let's get into the symptoms of serotonin. Now, what are the symptoms of serotonin? Symptoms of serotonin syndrome are going to be your hyperreflexia, myoclonic jerks. These are the two main symptoms to note. For exam purposes, I'm sure you will see all the other symptoms as well. But for exam purpose, I know they definitely bring up hyperreflexia and myoclonic jerks. You can also see these patients having agitation. They feel restless. They have an increase in blood pressure, the increase in heart rate. Think of autonomic instability. You, this patient gets sweating, shivering, goosebumps, chills, tremors. Their temperature increases. They are confused. They have seizures. They become unconscious because uh, there's an increase in serotonin. It causes diarrhea and cramps. These patients can also be seen having ataxia, headache, and insomnia. So how do we go about treating this? You're definitely going to treat this patient. This is medical emergency, right? So they're going to DC the offending agent. You're going to DC the offending agent, whether it be MAOI or SSRI, whatever the offending agent is, you're going to DC it. So treatment is going to be for this patient, DC the offending agent, and you're going to treat this patient with cryptoheptadine. Okay, so we're done with serotonin syndrome. If you guys enjoy this video, please click like and share, or if you know someone who can benefit off of this knowledge, please share it with them. Thank you. Bye-bye.